spending a bit of time with us this evening. Can I ask you, what, what have the past two weeks been like for you? You can't put into words the, the roller coaster we've been on the past two weeks. It's the heartache, the torture, the disbelief washed down with this immense hope. And then we've got this drive and focus to bring Nikki home. And then we've had to put emotions aside, being that support for Paul and the girls and my family, and just putting that brave face on, telling them everything's all right, but equally being honest with them, knowing that Nikki is missing and, and the girl's mummy is missing. No two days has been the same, no two hours been the same, and just waiting for that good news and keeping that hope mm. at the forefront of our minds. We've heard a lot from uh, Paul tonight, uh, Nikki's partner, and he's told us a lot about the Nicola that he loves. What about the Nicola that you know so well? Yeah, I think just from seeing her face out there, she's, she's touched the nation, hasn't she? And everything that you see, and a little bit more, is what she is inside. She's beautiful, she's caring, she's thoughtful, she's kind, she's funny, she's loving, the most loyal friend. She's the stuff that dreams are made of, and we've laughed, we've cried, everyone in between. And then you take Nick, Nikki's lovely, amazing qualities, you add Paul's in there, and then we've got these two little human beings that we have to do everything to bring Nikki home and bring their mummy home for them. I know that you and many other people have put everything on hold over the past fortnight, helping the family and, and helping the, the police as well. The community response has been incredible. I was up in St Michael's on Wire today. There's people everywhere on street corners holding up posters of, of, of Nikki everywhere. H has that struck you? I know you're a close-knit community anyway. Yeah, we are a close-knit community, but... That community near and far has united. Oh, it's been fundamental in raising the profile of Nikki's disappearance, generating those lines of inquiry. What I cannot stress enough is please keep those lines of inquiry, please keep them factual. Don't clog that 101 line that we really need to, to have that factual information come through to give the police lines of inquiry. Even the locals, with all the disruption they've had on the village, they've been so supportive. We've all got the end goal to bring Nikki home. Then we've got Peter and the SGI group offering their time and expertise to cement the great work that the police have done. And then the acts of kindness from mm. everybody is just unimaginable. And I'd personally like to thank every single one of you, family, friends, strangers. It's the simple act of kindness that have made the biggest difference. Um, and the strength that it's given me to then be able to be, I heard in Paul's interview, that pillar of support mm. With people supporting me, we've been able to support Paul and the girls, and I cannot thank everybody enough. And we need to bring Paul and Gert and the girls there rock home mm. to bring Nikki home. Well, Emma, I know you do an incredible job, and it's very much appreciated by Paul and, and many others there uh, in the village. Thank you for your time tonight. Do take care of yourself. Really appreciate you speaking to us thank live on so the programme. And let's bring in our, our studio guests who are listening in to what Emma has to say there. And, and Palm, I know you have personal experience, don't you, of how...